shaking and crying, and the kids were dancing all around. Oh, <laughs> so I was in Africa, and um, it was about a, for about a month. I stayed on Victoria Island in Nigeria, and I was invited to a school to speak. And the kids were amazing, just sitting there so beautifully attentive. And the teachers were shaking and crying, so I said, um, the, the title popped in my head, you know, after the, there's so many titles that popped in my head after this event of watching the kids dance around me and the teachers shaking and crying and so excited that I was there. And, but on the way back, the title popped in my head, I cried for the children. And when I left Africa, I went to Italy and on the way back, I fell asleep on the plane. When I got home, it just, the words just kept coming. And so this is what came up. I, I thought about the kids, all the children, not just in Africa, but the children all over the world. And so this is what I said. I cried for the children from Africa to Asia, to Europe, to the islands, to USA. A world of children going with so much anger and hatred and pain and frustration. How can you destroy little children's faith? And you call yourself a superior human race? It is not as if we have to wonder if this disease will grow like thunder. Why plant a seed to grow a weed when you can grow a diamond in me? I cry for the children. You better wake up now and post your soul's veil. For if you choose to lose, just blink your eyes. Your next generation will stand in the prison line. Mm. Remember, it is not for me. I shed a tear of fear. If the hatred in our souls don't mend, I cry for the children. Yeah. Come on.